everyone, my name is Brugley, and today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 931, which is one of the safest and most beautiful and most mesmerizing levels in all of the backrooms. Just whatever you do, do not touch these clouds. Anyways, I think you're really going to enjoy this video. Let's hop into the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms Level 931, or the Leafy Corridors, has a classification of Class 0. And it's safe and stable and devoid of entities, question mark. So it most likely is devoid of entities, but we don't really know. It's just up for debate. The beginning of the level shows itself as a long and winding concrete hallway that's huge and it has really tall ceilings and big glass windows on the left side. These windows are huge rectangles that look over this beautiful sky scene, and it's always this sunset time of day when you look outside. The ground of the hallway is made out of grass and flowers, and it gives off this eerie but relaxing feeling, almost like you've been there before. The sun that shines through the big windows gives this entire level a bright kind of glow that has a similar healing effect and calming effect that almond water does. So just by walking through the hallways, you'll feel more alive and more comfortable and you'll start healing more and you'll just feel awesome i mean how can you not this entire level gives off a feeling of comfort and peacefulness a feeling of liminal heaven if you will it almost feels like an art piece in a way because it's so beautiful and eye-catching or maybe i'm just crazy and i'm looking into it too much i think it's beautiful the windows here actually don't have glass on them, so theoretically, you could just walk right out into the clouds to the side, but whatever you do, do not do that. You need to avoid the clouds at all costs, and I'll explain why later in the video. Just know that you gotta trust me. And I've never lied to you about anything backrooms related so far, so just trust me. So those grassy corridors that I just explained, that's the start of the level. It's kind of the zone where you'll spawn in and you'll be at for a while, but after you walk through it for a long time, you'll actually end up going to the second part of the level, which is just called part two. I know that's a crazy name, but you know. So part two of the level is a more enclosed space with less windows and less sunlight. This is the only part of the level that's considered really dangerous because it gives wanderers feelings of paranoia and uneasiness, and in some cases, dread. It's unknown exactly why it happens, but it's probably got something to do with there being no light and the hallways being claustrophobic and not open, and I don't know, maybe being stuck inside the backrooms forever? That might also cause you to have dread. Anyways, it doesn't matter what you're feeling in this portion of the level because the odds are you're still safe, which is nice. Around the floor on this section are random jagged rocks that are below the flowers, so don't step on those as well, but other than that, this part looks the same as the first part, minus the windows. Now, based on that paranoia and the dread feelings you might have that I just talked about, there's been multiple reports of people going insane while being stuck in this part two area for too long. Specifically, that it somehow depletes and lowers your sanity way faster than the other section. Because if you remember, the other section has that sunlight that gives you a healing property and kind of keeps you sane and calm. Well, this section doesn't. In order to counteract this effect, you just need to drink a bunch of almond water before you come here, and that should work, hopefully. But even if you drink almond water and aren't the type to go crazy, these darker areas will make you paranoid, and they probably will make you feel like something is right outside of the light and about to attack you. Who knows if there's something there? I hope there's not, but there might be. Now, after this first and then second part, there's a very rare and unexplored third part of the level that can also be dangerous if you don't explore it properly. The third part looks like the first part, with the big open windows and the grassy floors and the clouds outside, but this time, instead of it just being clouds in the sky, there's just ever so faintly a city inside the clouds. Just like a floating city, floating in the air, outside of the windows, on top of the clouds. Now at this point in the level is when your mind will try very hard to get you to jump out of the tunnel and into the clouds below. But you have to not do that if you want to survive, and the reason that the cloud area is so dangerous is because because it is a direct link 
to the void level. And if you don't know what the void is, it's pretty much just an infinite expanse of black nothingness that you're trapped into for all eternity, which is not very fun. And jumping onto these clouds seems to be, like I said, a direct link to the void. So just don't do that. No matter what your mind says, don't. The last part of the level is the fourth part, of course, and it's also where the exit is. Eventually, these grass halls will slowly start to transform into an area that's similar to an old abandoned mall. And when this happens, you'll know that you've successfully escaped and made it out to tell the tale. Now, this mall area isn't listed as an exit or a different level, so it's unknown if it's an actual level or if it's part of this level, level 931, but you can no clip through a wall to be sent out of this level to another one, so I guess it is an exit. But this mall area just looks like your typical abandoned mall that no one's been to for a while. It's very liminal, it's very cold and damp. You get the feeling. But besides a very small portion of this level, most of it is a beautiful, serene, safe, and just glorious looking level. And it's a real paradise if you're looking for a semi-infinite sunny hallway to lay down in the grass forever on. Now, if you're not looking for that, well, there's like a billion other backrooms levels that you could choose from. But this one's definitely pretty cool. To enter it, you have to find a door on the hub level that's labeled level 931, or you can wander too far into level 1. That also seems to take people here. Now, that could be very useful to speedrun the back rooms because you could go from level 1 all the way to level 931, which is skipping 930 levels. So you might want to keep that in mind. To exit, you can walk far enough into that fourth part, which is the mall, and you can no clip out, or you can find a door on the right side of the hallway and go through through it to be sent to level 184. If you remember, the windows are on the left side of the hallway, so the right side is where the concrete is, you can find a door there. Or you could just bring a huge store of almond water and stay here forever. It's pretty much up to you. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of this level. Let me know in the comments if you did and what other levels that you would like to see me explain. I remember seeing this level in a video by Into the Hyperverse, which you saw some of the footage in this video. Go check out that dude's channel. His stuff is literally insane. I mean, it's literally like up on Kane Pixel's level. But what I've gone over today is kind of like the expanded version of that lore and the written version. So yeah, go check out that. Go check out the article in the description. I love this level. It is literally beautiful. Like I said, it's literally just gorgeous to look at. Anyways, thank you for your insane support we are literally on the road to 1 million subscribers which is absurd i literally never thought i'd be able to say that but here we are at pretty much 800k and i just cannot thank you all enough if you want to help me get there i would appreciate a sub and just like the video get my videos out there youtube's advertising a lot more shorts recently so my main videos aren't getting as much traction but for those of you that are sticking around and seeing the videos i really appreciate you watching thank you so much for everything and i will see you in the next video peace